Welcome to this demonstration of using Lumira on top of BFC running on SAP HANA. My name is Ivo van der Zand, working for analytics at SAP BLUX. Um, what I've done, I've started up Lumira and we have connected to, uh, we have an online connection towards uh, BFC running on HANA. So I will show you the data source. Over here we are, uh, so I'm connected on a view that has been created, uh, a HANA view, analytical view. We have uh, selected one metric, the consolidated amount. The other two are also available. Again, I have a live connection and these are all the attributes available uh, in the view. And you see that we uh, have not used them all, but the majority of uh, the elements being used. Um, so I OK that. The data is refreshing, uh, the connection is refreshing now. Again, I have an online connection, so a live connection. And here we are. So we uh, have a number of hierarchies available in uh, Lumira that are also available in the uh, analytical view already. Uh, so here we go. Um, so we have uh, a split in time, year, semester, quarter, period, uh, product families, that are available sectors uh, with a um, diversification in division and entity on country level and these are the attributes that I have available I will tick the button to show you all so these are all the elements available um, in the view and as such in Lumira what we've done, we've made selections, which you can see over here. You uh, can very simply uh, make a filter selection by uh, just clicking the little wheel and um, uh, and tick the filter button. And if I do so, you can select and deselect the elements that you want in the list um, or uh, not in the list or equal to. So uh, you can make multiple selections, of course. It's off-the-shelf Lumira functionality. You can see over here that we've, uh, we are looking to the actuals uh, in the closing flow uh, with this scope uh, only to euros. This variance, I will uh, open it up so that you have an idea on the selections we made, can be replica replicated using Lumira on top of BFC for HANA. So you see here the selection that we made um, for this section. Uh, we choose a time period, uh, some account codes, codes and a product code. Over here you see the first flow uh, nicely building up via waterfall. Uh, the sales numbers, financial resor uh, results, um, over the taxes to the monetary uh, minority interest incomes. Selling general and administrative expenses, cost of sales and the other operation income and expenses. Some key metrics. The revenue and a few others. Uh, I'm not going through all the different visualizations we've built up. Um, over here you see an overview uh, the flow in flow in reporting units a sector uh, per time period, uh, nicely spread up. Well, this all comes together in a um, dashboard that is available in the compose section. On page one, uh, the nice overview of the key metrics being revenue, net profit and headcount. Over here, a split per uh, units. Uh, there's a geographical indicator and uh, this is over the various um, sectors, again indicated by small human beings getting bigger or larger or smaller. The revenues over here clearly indicating how the situation is proceeding. Again, I'm live connected to uh, BFC running on HANA. Page number three with a slightly little background. By the way, you see the filters that are used for the different visualizations on top. This is the waterfall we already discussed with clearly indicating the profit and revenues. Um, you have the uh, core functionality, so you can simply drag and drop and filter these selected areas like you can uh, as of standard functionality in Lumira. Go to the next page. Over here you see the revenues by sector and geographical uh, region um, displayed in a heat map. Um, again, I can open up the heat map like you can as of standard functionality of Lumira and filter in it. 
I simply select the areas that I'm interested in and I can for example do a drill down to uh, over the um, hierarchy that's applicable so let me choose this one here you go yeah, cancel that page number five revenues by business segment with uh, some interactivity built-in. So you can select the zone that is applicable. If I just select two zones, you will see that the graphs and the uh, overviews are automatically adjusting to the selection. Here you go. Page number six. The revenues plotted on uh, on a map. Uh, so we can uh, we support SV maps, also uh, extensions to Galicio, for example. These are the standard available maps. Uh, I could, for example, exclude. Uh, or export the, uh, the, the, uh, the countries that I select over here I have interactivity using by simply clicking the interactive boxes where I can select the areas that I'm interested in here you go next page just to show you that we can use backgrounds as we want over here you see a similar an indication uh, of the um, the in thousands of euros of the different uh, revenue streams per um, per division uh, nicely indicated over here uh, again if I hoover uh, I get the metadata background information and over here there's a headcount indicator that we also uh, have in the data available all the background for the next page this page is more focusing on headcount uh, and with the key metric over here again plotting the headcount on a map and over here nicely indicated by uh, some bar charts uh, again live connection so if anything uh, changes in the data I immediately see it reflected in um, Lumira which you see over here so a very nice combination uh, of uh, BFC financial consolidation running on top of HANA where the uh, data discovery and data visualization is done with SAP Lumira and uh, we can uh, at least um, uh, replicate all the information that you normally can have with the EPM add-in but with all the advantages, the visualization and self-services advantages of Lumira. Thanks for your attention.